crude oil and net gas have started the week specifically crude oil is trading with modest bearishness at the same time net gas has traded reverse and it has tried to trade with a gap up and try to achieve the highs at 2.9 sp at the same time it is still indecisive and hence what to expect from crude oil and net gas today which position you should take in order to profit we will see with the help of charts and indicators this is the first update for the day the next update will be released before the us session was that as well and yes do like share subscribe and comment your every like share comment is a great support motivation inspiration for me to deliver on time every time to the best of my abilities and pressing the bell icon keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis at the same time you can join my free telegram channel to get the live updates the link is mentioned in the channel and video description let's start in this update first we'll look into net gas followed with crude oil do watch till the now see net gas on the early chart support is seen at 2.82 with that as support now we are seeing a rise here you can find out it is trying to stay in this bullish channel the resistance is also very clear at 2.9 2.92 zone it has to just stay about 2.9 2.92 zone if these two levels are breached certainly the bulls will take over here in net gas right now what is happening it has shown a reversal lower highs are seen there is a gap here at around 2.8684 levels below which further bearishness is going to be seen also look at the moving averages have started to converge signs of bullishness if it crosses over certainly the bulls will be seen here see moving averages were trading with extreme divergence and thus a convergence crossover is what we can expect a stock has stick near to top macd is divergent macd is in green macd is still bullish looking upwards if you and if you look at the waves your first wave second wave so yes it can continue a little on the upside before giving a very clear direction whichever ways it wants to rsi near to top coming to two hour charts likewise on the two hour charts see, the resistances are seen here on the upside it is trying to reverse here there is a gap here on the downside which is need to, needed to be filled at around 2.85 levels here so a good sell entry can be taken at around 2.8584 levels below which further bearishness to be seen here as long as 2.8485 is respected do not treat gas as bearish stock has stick near to overbought zone while macd is trading with divergence macd is bullish looking upwards and if you look at first wave second wave so similar formation what we saw on the early charts can be replicated here hence the bullishness might prevail for a while this rsi rising here coming to three hour charts now look at three hour charts you connect these uh, candles here connect the movement here after the drop slight bearishness here Yes, any point of time staying about 2.9, 2.92 zone is where the bulls might try to take over, and hence this zone is completely very, very strong resistance 2.92, 2.95 to levels. So uh, yes, for the day we can buy here at 2.89 levels itself. Once net gas stays about 2.89, uh, we can expect 2.92 levels as the next. Rise. Now see the moving averages have started to convert. This is also stationed at around 2.85 levels, which is going to be the next support on the downside. The stock has stick back to overbought. MACD crossing over, trading with little divergence and bullishness. Waves getting created here. We may see this bullishness continuing. RSI almost staying flat. Coming to four hour chart. Look at four hour charts. Lower highs, lower lows, or flat bottom. Suggestive that it is still staying bullish. Once it stays above 2.89 levels. In the next candle, you can buy here. Expect 2.92, 2.94 levels as the next and strongest resistance. Beyond that, certainly 3, 3.05 levels will be seen here. Also, if you look at the formation, you will observe almost double bottom levels are created here, and probably beyond 2.95 is where certainly 3.05 levels will be. Also, if you look at the moving average, which are trading with extreme divergence, the prices are divergent from the moving average. Both have seen a convergence here. And if you connect the dots here, you will find gas is still staying in this bullish channel. A stochastic rising, MACD was trading with extreme bearishness. It is crossing over here. Certainly, it may call for little bullishness in the coming few candles. And we may see rise from here if it stays about 2.89, 2.92, 2.92, 2.95 levels. Three very strong resistances. RSI is also seen rising, coming to the daily. If you look at the daily charts, moving average is trading with divergence. Very good support is seen here. Also, look at the formation here. How gas is traded? Rise, retracement, rise, retracement, and again looking forward to rise. And hence, it is still staying in this bullish channel. Higher highs, higher lows are yielded. Right now, staying beyond uh, 2.95 levels. Certainly, certainly, 
we can say that uh, gas is trying to break out and possibly more bullishness will be seen beyond 2.95 levels a stock has ticket bottom macd is still in green it is it is converged but it has not yet crossed over rsi almost staying flat with a slight bullish bias here so looking at this i will recommend you to buy a gas today once you see this price at 2.89 you can buy here expect around 2.92 levels at the first resistance and staying beyond 2.92 the further bullishness for 2.94 if 2.94 is breached 2.9495 is breached you can say that uh, we are looking forward to three dollar levels again 33.05 is going to be the next target on the downside at the same time since there is a gap here uh, and if gas tries to fill the gap we can sell here at 2.8584 zone first and very very strong support here at on the downside even if it uh, draws below 2.8584 zone you can expect 2.8 to 2.8 very strong support here and then 2.76 my favorite only and only if gas stays below 2.76 that is the point below which the bears will take over here else it is still staying bullish i will still expect it to continue with the rise hence take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at crude oil and yes before we proceed if you want to learn this art of you should join my mentorship batch. The 26th batch is going to start on 9th of October. Only limited seats are available. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Now see oil on the hourly charts after yielding couple of red candles. It is trying to recover a bit. And you can find out there is a resistance at 90.02, 90.2 90 levels which is a yielding a good great resistance and hence yes if you see oil is staying above 90.2 we can initiate a buying entry wait for it to break past 90.6 the next resistance and then 91 see these three levels or at the same time if you observe the early charts you can find out higher lows higher highs are getting observed on the downside if even if it tries to drop we may find 89.4 89.2 zone is a great great support for oil here but let's have an observation further into detail that which position we should try to enter. A stock ISTIC is dropping here, trying to enter into oversold zone. At the same time, MACD is trading with divergence and bearishness looking downwards. RSI is also uh, has dropped a bit, but it is still very much comf comfortable. Coming to 2-hour chart, look at 2-hour charts, a bit of resistance, multiple candles trying to stay above this zone 90.2. 90.3 levels and uh, after failing to stay now we are seeing a reversal see whenever such after such resistance you see a movement certainly it tries to continue for a while also one must look at 89.5 89.4 is a very very good resistance below which 89 levels will be seen a stock i stick is almost staying flat while magd is willing to cross over for a sell see if it does show a crossover it can try to yield bearishness a little more bearishness in the coming candles RSI is also showing slight, slight bearishness. Now look at 3 hour chart. See first red candle coming from the highs here. And second red candle if it stays below 50 period moving average certainly. Uh, you can see here 89.6, 89.7 levels itself. I will recommend you to sell here at uh, this support zone. If, it's, if you see oil is staying below 89.7, 89.4 support levels. You can see further bearishness may prevail however 89.2 and 89 see on the downside i can see more stronger support for oil here as long as 89 is respected as also one must note that after forming the double bottom it is still giving higher lows higher highs and hence as long as 89 is respected today we should not treat oil as bearish the stock i stick looking downwards macd is again willing to cross over for a sell remember uh, see it is stayed bearish for a long retraced here now trying to cross over for sell and hence also this crossover is at zero level and hence even if it tries to drop there are going to be good great supports on the downside rsi almost staying flat not showing any strength here coming to four hour on the four hour chart see multiple candles getting the resistance here at uh, 90.2 levels certainly makes it a very good resistance level at the same time on the downside we can see higher low so yes there are going to be good great supports in between 89.4 89.2 zone any drop below 89.2 levels certainly will bring more bearishness there so this is something you should note at the same time we should note also that uh, in the near time candles you can find out it is still staying with a slight bearish bias so uh, yes one can stay short here at 89.6 uh, 89.4 zone and then below that 
if it stays below 89 you can say more bearishness is going to prevail we are looking forward to 88.6 or 88 levels now if you look further into detail you will find stochastic on the four hour charts is trying to trade with slight bearishness at the same time magd is almost flat but remember it is not yet crossed over it is still in green it is almost staying flat as of now rsi looking downwards trying to show slight bearishness and coming to the daily charts now on the daily charts the previous was a swing candle also one must note higher highs higher lows are seen there now even if it tries to drop here see that is why i say only below only below 89 is where the bears will try to take over remember it can still show you swings here it can still show you in this zone it can still try to continue here in this zone so uh possibly once 89.6 you can initiate a sell entry but remember i will still recommend that there are good great supports and it is still not decisive or clear for oil that which direction it wants to take and hence if you are taking a sell entry as long as 89 88.6 levels are respected do not treat oil as bearish here below 88.6 is where the bears will take over so in between this zone we have to extremely be watchful careful with our positions here taking a sell entry at 89.6 may find oil get at the same time you can buy here at 90.2 in between 89.6 and uh, 90.2 we are not going to take any position remember it can still yield because first greener candle a swing candle this candle if it reverses from somewhere here to around 89.2 89.4 zone is possible and then on the upside 90.691 levels yes beyond 91 further bullishness may prevail and oil is going to fly because 91 has shown very good resistance on the upside now on the downside the 20 period moving average is sitting at 88 which is also a good good support here and prices might converge towards those levels if you look at our stochastic this is rising now see MACD is crossing over here at the top trying to trade with little divergence and bearishness and this is the first wave here second wave can yield further downside RSI near to overbought zone so looking at this you can sell at 89.6 buy at 90.2 on the upside at 91 on the downside 88.6 88 levels be careful in between these three dollar movement Take your positions accordingly. Trade with the stop loss. Trade with the trailing stop loss. Do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Join my mentorship batch or signal channel. Reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. See you again with the US session update later in the day. Do stay tuned. Thank you.